Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got quite an interesting case here. What you're going to see in this video is the remnants or aftermath, so to speak, of an ear infection, what we call otitis externa. And here we can see just ordinary brown wax, which is um, nothing too special. But as we strip this away and, and move deeper and deeper into the ear canal, you will start to see more suspicious looking debris. So sheets of dead skin, um, residual discharge and so on and so forth. Um, now, this patient has had antibiotics. They've seen their doctor and they're no longer in pain. They just feel like their ear is full and, and their hearing is a little bit impaired. So um, hence why they're here to see me for the suction. Um, but the thing that makes this case particularly interesting is that you're going to see serous discharge in the ear canal, which is something that we don't see that often. Um, so to explain what that is, if you have a wound of some kind, um, then that wound will, as it's going through the healing process, at one point or another, it will drain out this sort of clear watery fluid, uh, which is the serous discharge. And that's very helpful because uh, that fluid contains lots of ingredients to help the tissue heal. And if there's a tiny little bit of blood mixed in with that serous discharge um, from the original site of, of trauma, then it'll appear as a sort of light pinkish color. Uh, and we call that serosanguinous discharge because sanguinous discharge is, is blood. So it's the combination of the two together, serosanguinous. And that's what you're going to see here, actually, in, in this particular video. So um, that would imply that um, as well as infection, there has at some point been some bleeding in the ear canal um, and I'm going to mark it where I think that that side of bleeding was um, and you'll see that uh, in just a moment. So as we can see we've stripped away the, the ordinary wax and we're now seeing this, these sort of pale sheets of dead skin and that little globule right down the bottom there, that sort of pinkish globule is the serosanguinous discharge. So there's not very much of it but um, there it is right central on a sheet of dead skin. So we'll suction that away and we'll have a good look at the eardrum. Now, originally I was expecting perhaps to see a, um, a bit of abrasion on the, the ear canal, but actually when we see the eardrum here, that little arrow just there denotes where I think was the, was the uh, original site of bleeding. So that little darker area there, which is tinted red, could be um, a place where the eardrum was perforated and is healed. Uh, it could just be where the eardrum was, was compromised or damaged a little bit and those blood vessels um, obviously ruptured and leaked out a, a little bit of blood giving rise to the serosanguinous discharge. But overall this is a very good outcome for the patient. Um, we're going to continue to to remove debris and, and follow this patient up to make sure the infection doesn't reoccur. Um, but after this procedure they felt their hearing was was much, much better.